What's going on, y'all? It's the Stale Ham Sandwich with iTrans bringing you a video on how to get your Weevil set up from scratch. We will be using the web browser version and just going over how to make the most simplistic view on your screen so that way you have everything that you need to know all on one. With that being said, we're going to get going. As you can see, I have a blank web browser. This is Google Chrome, probably the best web browser for optimization and security. As you can see, we are blank here. I do have that Weeble setting in the bottom there but i'm going to go ahead and click this copy paste you're going to go to you're going to go to app.weeble.com slash trading to get to that web browser version and we'll get right into it now as you can see here because a blank chart with the spy in the corner but i want to go over some other features before we got started so as you can see on this corner you have watch list stocks markets screeners but what we're really focused on here is that trade window once you are in this trade window this is how you're going to access your charts and how you're going to have the ability to trade as you can see i'm starting here with a blank chart or a blank desk a blank web browser version with just the chart up in this corner and that's where you want to be so what we're going to do first is we're going to go over to this widget section and this is where you have all your options to add your different boxes and this is just what we're going to use. We're going to click position and we're going to click order as well. The positions will let you know what positions you currently have open. And that working will tell you what positions you have working or open that haven't been filled just yet. Next, we're going to go to click still on that widget button. We're going to click stock. We're going to click options because we're going to need that to check our option chain. We're also going to click trade. We're going to move this towards that middle section. This is going to be actually where you input the price of what you want. Always on that limit order. You're going to have also it'll switch to the options chain whenever we click that. And you'll be able to see that right there in the middle. Last but not least, we're going to put the. You can either put the price ladder in here to see the. To see the levels at which the amount of shares are being traded per that stock. Or if you are on level two. You can already go ahead and hit that order book and have that in that corner. And that'll show you about that same as well. Just a little more detail, but you do need level two for that. So for now, we're just going to leave the price ladder there in that top corner. As you can see, I have a basic layout here. And now I'm just going to do a little adjusting. So we're going to move these boxes up into that corner. You can see we have this chart in that right corner. And the best thing about Weeble is that you can adjust each one of these boxes. So if you wanted to see that whole chart, you just click in that corner drag it across and there you are that chart of spy so we're going to have that there as you can see we have these boxes are a little overlapping so we're just going to tighten them up we're going to move our positions over just a hair as well as the working as well and then once you're done with that a big important step is to make sure that they are all set on the same group so you're going to click this little line right here just a little dash right by the x put them all on that same number and this will allow every box to change over to what group is selected so as you can see i'm pushing them all in one and you can see the boxes turn orange when i do that and this will allow every box to change whenever you type in a ticker to check on any of the boxes that are open and available as you can see spy has come up on all of these boxes i can switch to a stock like apple and you can see it switch on every single one so that being said this is what i found to be the easiest way to trade when it comes on that Weeble web browser version, just because of the pure fact that it's all in one. You have your chart here to take a look. You also can see that ladder with what the what the amount of shares are flowing through the stock. Whenever you go to options, it's really easy. Just drag down. As you can see, you have the chain right here. You can make it bigger or smaller if you'd like. I do change those strikes to all. That's just a personal preference for me, just so you see all the action that's going on. And whenever you do click a option change and it does switch over, it will change this middle box there for you. I hope this has been a little easier getting started and just a video tutorial on how to get that going and rocking. This is what I personally use when I trade on Weeble and I found great success just having this, this web browser layout. With that being said, this is Stale Ham Sandwich with iTrends. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like. If you liked it just a little more, hit that subscribe. If you want to come trade with us, check out the Discord information down in the description below. Like I said, it's been the Stale Ham Sandwich with iTrends and thank you.